Yeah, almost 15 years later, and this movie still is getting roasted. Uh, that's why I needed to do this video. I mean, why not do this? I mean, Avatar's trending and all, and people have their mixed opinions about this, but the 2010 Avatar live-action adaptation still gets brought up, so... I mean, it's time to get down to the nitty gritty, the stickies and the nasties. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing in this video. We're going to be reading the worst reviews for the 2010's Avatar The Last Airbender. Let's look at some numbers real quick before we fully dive in. It's a little bit of a shock to me. 5% of the critics recommend that you go watch this film. 5%. Out of 100% of the critics that reviewed this film, only 5% said this was good. And as for the audience coming in at a whopping 30%, only 30% of the audience says this is a good film. You know what kind of shocks me a little bit, right? This film's bad, but it's not as bad as Madam Web. But if we look at some numbers on Madam Web, 13% of the critics recommend that you go watch Madam Web. 13%. And for the audience, 57%, over half the audience recommends that you go watch this film. And I'll be honest, I'd rather watch The Last Avatar over watching Madam Web. So this makes absolutely no sense as to why more critics and audiences recommend this film over this film. That's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to look at the worst reviews and we're going to start with the critics. We already got one starting off right away. The worst film of the year. It makes no sense that he says worst film of the year and it's 2020 that he made this. A poor effort from a director who once promised so much. Damn, that's the director's fault. Yeah, it, it, it honestly is the director's fault for that movie because I think uh, the actor, the main actor who played this, this was like his first real gig at a movie and this dude was getting like death threats and like all that type of stuff. And I'm like, dude, he's like 12 years old. This is a kid's movie that doesn't seem to realize that it's a kid's movie. <laughs> An amateurish mess. This, yeah. I mean, I will say based off of the trailers, like before the movie came out, trailer looked absolutely amazing. I thought that it was going to be a good film uh, when I was a kid. So I took it upon myself to be like, hey, mom and dad, let's go watch this movie. Honestly, it didn't seem like that bad of a movie when I watched it. Yeah, it wasn't as good as the animated series that came out on Nickelodeon. And it's honestly way worse than the live action one that we have on Netflix. But the live action one on Netflix is actually pretty freaking decent. I know people have their mixed reviews about it. But still, based off of the trailer, the trailer looked good. A big old mess of atrocious acting and terrible scripting. The Last Airbender is definite nominee for worst film of 2010. That kind of makes me want to know what other films came out in 2010. I know there was a lot of good films that came out in 2010. $150 million well wasted. Dang, the budget for this was $150 million. You bomb like that? Crazy. The Last Airbender is an insult to those wanting sophisticated, entertaining, or even competent cinema. Ooh, oh, bro, that blows me a little bit. $150 million and it's like down the drain like that? Oh, Jesus Christ. Some of the worst acting, action, and dialogue you'll endure this year. Oh my god, there was this one scene. I think, it, I, I don't know if it was Katara talking or something. And she was trying to have like this like moment with Aang or with one other character. I haven't watched this movie in so freaking long. But I know that there was this moment where there was this corny line being said. And she was like, we must believe or there will be nothing to believe in. It's time we show the Fire Nation that we believe in our beliefs as much as they believe in theirs. you <laughs> uh that's a stupid line and that dialogue is horrible far from the catastrophe the u.s bewailed but still disappointingly clunky oh this i don't know why i this is the most funniest comment about this movie ever dung fu <laughs> A tremendously disappointing effort from a once rock solid filmmaker. Dang, who's the person who directed this? Let me see. It says right here, M. Night Shyamalan. Apparently, these are the movies that he did. He did uh, Old, he did Knock at the Cabin, Glass, Split. Split was a good movie. Uh, After Earth, that was actually kind of trash, the happening. I, I kind of, I, I do know these movies, but um, 
Yeah, that last Avatar, man. Well, that is enough of looking at what the critics had to say. Now it is on to my favorite part of this. Uh, this is why I love doing these videos because the audience does not hold back. So it's time for us to know what the audience thinks about this film. Oh man, people got it coming. Trash is not what I like. Maybe try a different approach when making series, thanks. Please don't watch this, it's awful. This one star goes out to the cast that had to live with the fallout of this massive bomb. Jeez. One of the worst blockbusters ever made. Dull beyond belief. I had high expectations for this. Yeah, I did too. But that trailer really, really set it off. And thought it would be a great movie. Boy, was I wrong. One of the worst movies ever. There is not one thing good about this movie. Jeez. It's a complete disrespect to the original show. It honestly is, man. I mean, for something like The Last Airbender, which had such a huge fan base behind it, and it still does to this day. There's a lot of fans, uh, Avatar fans. There is a whole bunch of them. So to put out something like this, man, you blew it. Absolutely atrocious. I just throw up a little bit in my mouth just thinking of it. Damn, that is harsh right there. You throw up in your mouth thinking about it. Oof, that throw up in the mouth is gross. Garbage poor, not good. Nice soundtrack though. <laughs> okay, at least he likes the soundtrack. I thought it was average when I watched it in 2010, but I revisited it after seeing the excellent 2024 series and realized from watching that the film was truly abysmal. The series made clear to me everything that is completely wrong in the film, starting from the totally wrong compression of the script, the weak and lazy casting of the characters, the robotic and unmotivated performance of everyone involved, the blurry amateur photography in cold tones, and finally a terrible executed characterization of the actors. In short, the film tries so hard to be original and takes itself seriously that due to the lack of cohesion and capacity, it becomes a dull and forgettable joke. Damn. Very, very intelligent response right there, man. This person right here has got no chill. Fucking disgusting movie. They made the whole first season into a movie and it sucked. Terrible. They didn't even get the main character's name right. Yeah, they were calling him Ong. It wasn't even Ang, it was Ong. My name is Ong. We're gonna read this one review right here. I love this person's name, so we're gonna end it off with that. Firebender 2020 T. For kids, not grow up is good, but for teens or adults is very horribly like a shitness trash. <laughs> what? I see only one once in 2010 and I'll never see it again. That response is very funny but we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up there pretty much it that's how uh everyone kind of thinks about it uh we didn't read any good reviews we only read the bad reviews because i mean let's be honest a lot of us didn't think this movie was good but i hope you guys enjoyed the video leave your honest thoughts down below on what you thought about this film when it came out in theaters or when you had recently watched it or watched it sometime years ago uh, thank you guys for supporting the channel for the people that are subscribed for the people that aren't subscribed This is your chance to join the movement and support this channel. We're trying to get to a million uh, Subscribers we're at 999,999 and I just need one more subscriber and I'll be there So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for tuning in leave a like. Thank you